What is this? Like, oh, I turned into a bullet, look! I turned into a freaking bullet! God damn! Hey guys, how's it going? Joseph here. So, I finally got a Nintendo Switch. I waited for the longest time, but it's finally here, and it's the new updated version. So after doing some research, this new version has a better screen or at least it performs better in daylight or under ambient light since it's a bit brighter than the old version. So this is good if you like taking your Switch out wherever you go. It also has a warmer color temperature which means that you will see better color accuracy compared to the older version. Another major upgrade is the new GPU CPU, it's the NVIDIA Custom Tegra processor which is more efficient and therefore you get a longer battery life. This is good, especially when you want to play your favorite game even for a longer period of time. So I guess if you already have a Nintendo Switch, I don't think this is a huge major upgrade. Now if you are on the market to buy a new one, well I guess this is great. Now the way to know if you're getting the new version is in the serial number from the box. Make sure it starts with a XKW. And in the device, it has to have a minus 01 in parentheses after the model number. So this is a 720p resolution screen. It looks good for the size. Everything looks sharp and clean, but you also have the option to connect it to your TV. All right, guys, so I have my Switch connected to my Samsung TV. This is the Q7FN 4K HDR Quantum Dot TV from Samsung this uh, 2018 model. All right, so let's go over here to the system settings from the Switch. There's some things that you can change here. Airplane mode, screen brightness. This screen brightness is only going to work when you're using the screen from your Switch, not when it's docked on the TV. So let's go over here to themes. Now, you, know, you guys notice that I have my, everything is black or gray in this case. This is where you change this, the themes. The basic comes in white, but it's way too bright. So I just changed it to uh, dark mode, pretty much. And let's go to TV settings, right? And then over here, the resolution, I have it in automatic. This is, you can choose from different resolutions for 480, 720, or 1080p. I just have it in automatic for right now. Thing looks good. Now RGB range, this one is normally in automatic, but I recommend to switch to a full range so you guys can get the most out of this. Just screen size, this is that's already 100%, so everything is good here. Now a screen burn reduction. This is good for all TV owners. In my case, I have an LED, so I don't have any uh, any of those issues, but I still have it on. Over here, match TV power state. So this is pretty much self-explanatory. It'll tell you right here if you want to have your switch turn off whenever your TV is, is turned off, and that's it. Now TV sound, I have this one in stereo. You can also change to surround sound if you're using a surround sound system. In my case, I do have a sound bar, but it's, it's only 2.1, so. So yeah, so there's two speakers, the sound for, of two speakers. It says select to test play sound six times to ensure each speaker is functioning properly. Well, it's only, I only heard it twice. So let's close this and let's just, just switch this to stereo. And that is pretty much it right here on the switch. Now let's go and check it out on the TV settings. Let's go over here and press the menu. And as soon as I connect the switch to the TV, it recognizes the switch. You guys can see the logo right here. So now let's go to the settings. Now, first off, what I did is I went to general, external device manager, and I did turn on UHD colors. This is, this is where you turn on HDR pretty much, so you can get the best out of it. My switch, I have it on HDMI 1, and then my soundbar is an HDMI 4. And also, game mode is right here. I'm using game mode, of course. Now, the switch doesn't have automatic game mode, but you can always have it on whenever you're using the switch. Game Motion Plus settings, see if you want to add that. Freezing, this doesn't support freezing. This works better with the Xbox One X. And that's it, let's go to the picture settings now. Now we're here in the expert settings. So the backlight is all the way up to 35. I don't have it all the way up because this gets really bright 
this is an SDR so you don't need the backlight all the way up brightness is in zero contrast is at 50 now contrast I have it at 50 because you also get the you know the brightest panel right here you can always modify this to your own preference but these are my own personal settings guys I'm just sharing this with you because some I know some of you guys want to see the settings but you can always I always suggest to use the ones that work best for you okay so now in sharpness in this TV I have it in level 8 well the value is at 8 which is a little bit two uh, steps down from the middle which is 10 it doesn't really make a much of a difference but I think 8 is a sweet spot now in this case in my TV if I lower the value all the way down then the image gets very soft and it is very noticeable in your case maybe it could be different each TV is different but in my case this is what I, that's this is why I have the sharpness in level 8 or sometimes in the middle which is 10 but in this case level 8 works good for me so it could be different on your TV just give it a try now color if you like to have punching colors like very very vibrant colors then I turn it up a little bit actually the middle is 25 but I have it at 30 I don't know I just do like this punchy colors especially with the games in the switch they're very very colorful so I have it like that now let's go to local dimming this is a, uh, an edge TV so local dimming doesn't really make any difference in here it works better with a full array local dimming TV now contrast enhancer does make a huge difference now I have it in low this is my preference if you turn it off I do notice that you do lose some color vibrancy so uh, that's why I have it in low and if you turn it up I guess uh, it's uh, brightness is introduced throughout the whole picture but it's just white so it doesn't make a doesn't really enhance the picture I think the glow it has good contrast and good color good, good color vibrancy so that's why I have it in low this is my own preference and let's go to, to color tone this one I have it in warm one I like it in warm one some people prefer some uh, kind of like a cooler tone but I think warm one is a sweet spot also in the gamma I lowered just one little notch and it does make a huge difference I feel like it enhance, enhances the contrast and the black level so this is my choice minus one and then color space I have it in native now if you're using SDR this is the best option for you native but if you have your TV professionally calibrated you are probably going to have to go to custom and then change the settings from here whatever the calibrator tells you to have but if you're not I suggest native for SDR and automatic for HDR it works best so native we're gonna leave it right here and I guess that's it so these are the settings that I'm using right now guys now let's go play some games let's go yeah baby all right man I suck at this Oh, I didn't get anything. <laughs> How do I? Man, I seen some people doing some uh, really cool drifting. There we go. Let's go. Come and touch me. Oh, I also have the star power. My seventh place, my god. Oh my god. Turbo boost. Jesus Christ, tenth place. I really suck. Let's go, let's go. Oh no. Let's go get this one. What is this? Like, oh, I turned into a bullet. Look. I turned into a freaking bullet. God damn. 
Are you turning into a ghost? Oh, I'm killing everyone. Seventh place. No way. Oh, sixth place. Well, <laughs> better than nothing. All right, guys, so let's play a little bit of Donkey Kong Country. Oh, no, actually, this is not Donkey Kong Country. That was like the old school one. That was that was the last Donkey Kong I played, I think. Man, I can hardly play this game, but... I know, like... Oh, yes, yes. Man, this looks beautiful. Oh, look at that. How do I do this? How do I do this? Can I grab this? Oh yeah, I can grab this. Man, I'm still learning guys, but uh, so far, I'm having, I'm having so much fun with this game. I, I want to play the new Zelda. Well, not the new one, like the Breath of the Wild seems to be one of the best games available here, right? I don't know. I'm new to this, so any suggestions will be greatly appreciated, guys. Oh, what is this? Oh, I see. Oh, that's so cool. Man, I haven't played this any of this kind of game in such a long time. So now I feel like I'm going back to my childhood. Well, anyways, guys, thank you so much for. St what the hell did I do? Oh, well, what? Oh, I don't know what I pressed, but thank you so much, guys. Oh, I fell out. No way. <laughs> Oh, man. I'll see you guys in the next one, right? I'm going to start over again, I guess. Just around.